Hoi. So, I wanted to make this video on a more serious note. This is gonna be mainly for me and anyone else I choose to show it, so... To show it to, so hello, hello, hi. Um, sorry if it's a little bit hard to understand me, I still have the elastics in. I don't know if you can see. So it's a little bit uncomfortable to talk, but I'm getting used to it, so yeah. I wanted to talk a little bit more about the mental health associated behind my underbite. The overall process of the surgery, how I'm feeling right now mentally, and how I have been feeling these past few days, weeks, or whatever, I don't even know anymore. It's been like a blur. So let me start off with how I was before the surgery mentally, because I feel like I didn't really go into that as much, and I really want to remind myself how I felt before and why I chose to undergo the surgery. So, I mentioned in my previous videos, kids would choose me, bully me, or whatever. It wasn't as awesome as the movie I mentioned, but it still did hurt. But what I really wanted to talk about more is what, what I felt hurt the most, and what just happened over time was the stares. People would stare at me at school, they would stare at me at work. I used to work as a hostess at a few restaurants and I worked at a fast food. So I was always in front of people and they noticed. Like, I could just like, like, I don't know how to explain it. Like, I know they noticed, but like over time, I could have just, I could have just like, you know, internalized everything they noticed and I could have looked away. First, I'd wear my hair down, like right now, and just to kind of hide how I feel on the side, you know? Actually, now that I'm here, let's just show you my jar right now and how it is to see if this slowly goes down in the future. I think it still has a little bit left. Still kind of here, here. Is this coming back here? Actually, these are coming back, I just noticed. This is pretty good, actually. This is still kind of numb. No, this is a little bit numb, but it's coming back. This right here is having a pain. I was being dumb earlier and I was like squeezing my nose, but apparently your nose is attached to your sinuses. I didn't know that, but whatever. And uh, I'm just gonna do a quick, this is the zoot teeth. I have, okay, that's food there. I'm sorry. Like, I have, I did, this, that's orange juice because I take that with my medicine. So don't judge. And this is like a bit of like a over right now, I think. Yeah. And I want to show you side by side. And so I think it turned, it's turning out pretty well. Okay, now back to what I really came to, the video of mental health. So growing up, I really internalized a lot of the stares. At a lot of social events, I knew that I was different. I went to college, and I went to college. I did not want to go to college with my underboy. I was really, really nervous. And it was hard because I wanted to be so completely different from high school because I had a really bad time growing up, feeling very depressed, really alone, and really anxious all the time. So at college, I did a lot better socializing and meeting people, but there was always this draw that was always holding me back, it felt like. Like, I couldn't grow the way I really wanted to because this was here, holding me back in that way. And I want to talk about it a little bit more because I think it's really cruel for society treating people that look different. And I'm not just talking about an underbite. I'm talking about people that have burns, any other physical differences affair to like the normal standard human being, you know. And I wanted nothing more for the longest time to look like everyone else. Like I didn't want to be different because being different meant everyone would stare at me. Make me feel like I was different and I didn't deserve to be loved, that I was ugly, that I was, you know, just made me a lot more unhappy than what I wanted to be. I felt like whenever I met new people, I was more self conscious, I can't dating, or whatever. I didn't really want to do anything because I felt ugly, like I felt like I didn't deserve to be loved. I felt like I didn't deserve to be loved by my friends, my family, because it felt like everything was just so triggering for my anxiety. I've had really bad coping mechanisms over the years. I've went to over-exercising, over-eating, not eating enough, going online too much, and I still do that one, but whatever. I like seeing my online friends now, so whatever. 
Uh, it was like, you knew it. I probably did it. Like, I was so, I didn't do drugs or whatever. So, stay with school kids. You know, you know, you know what they say, you know. No drugs. No, thugs are not drugs. So, yeah. Say that now, but I'm taking it actually, so. <laughs> Swag. But, uh, yeah, back to the serious note. It was really, really hard growing out of my tongue. So I felt a little hook inside my mouth, and I couldn't put wax on there, because my teeth are closed. So I was like, what the heck? Okay, yeah, but, sorry, sorry. Back to what I was saying. I, I should have been a lot. I just felt really, really alone. I felt really depressed. I don't like to talk about it too much, because I just felt really alone. You know, I don't know how else to explain it. Like, I was doing the dishes earlier today. And I just started crying. I wasn't crying because I was sad. I was crying because I was thinking about the old me. I felt like I would kill to look like I do now. And it's just, it's horrible because you shouldn't have to feel, you shouldn't have to feel different because society tells you to. You shouldn't have to feel different because people have to stare at you and make you feel more, more than you feel already, you know? You already have a lot going on in your life, so to add that is just hard, you know? You notice that every time you talk, you eat, you breathe, you feel like clear, quiet about, sorry, I'm talking really fast. Quiet about slurring my S's. So I even feel really self-conscious. I hated talking to interviews over the phone. I just hated the sound of my voice because people would ask, oh, do you feel cold today? Are you kind of nasally today? Like, yes. I always am nasally, okay? Like, you're annoying me right now, okay? So, yeah. Now, I'll do a brief overview about the mental health so far. I'm gonna go to a better video in the future, more depth, about the full surgery. But right now, I feel okay mentally. It's been kind of hard lately because sometimes the syringes don't work, so I was having trouble eating the past few days. But the food won't fill up and it won't go in my mouth, so I don't have another way to eat, is the problem, because this is still closed. And, uh, yeah, mentally it's been kind of hard because, like, I went to college the other day, I unpacked and everything, but it's hard seeing all these other kids hang out and talk to their friends, but I can't even talk when I'm to eat. Like, I, I went to the dining hall and I couldn't eat anything. It was so hard to be there, you know? And, yeah, I don't know, I just, I feel like the mental health of the surgery is starting to affect my relationship with some people, like my dad, for instance. I think I'll be okay going through but it's just, it's hard, you know? It's hard going through this major procedure. I don't remember why I did it, but I just, it just angers me because, listen, uh, if you, if you see someone that looks different, mind your business. Either you treat them like a decent person and don't stare. Because I gotta feel when you stare one, two seconds longer at me than you do someone else, okay? It makes you feel like I'm ugly. It makes me feel like I was worthless. And it honestly pisses me off a lot because you have no right to judge me or anyone else like that. Okay, I'm getting mad right now. T. So, yeah. Honestly, everyone's beautiful in their own way. You should have the feel that you have to confide to society's mold or boxes. And if you look beyond beauty, like physical beauty, if you look anything you want, like whoever you want to be, don't fool yourself back, you know, unless you're like a serial killer or something, you know. But I watch out Frosted Flakes. <laughs> Anyways, sorry. But, uh, yeah, so that's all I wanted to make for this video. It was more just about kind of me expressing my feelings, because I've been kind of, like, a little bit down lately. I go back to class on Wednesday, and surprise, surprise, I go back to school Wednesday. They already assigned me. <laughs> <laughs> what are you saying? Okay, bye.